Lebanon police say a man in a truck crossed the median and smashed head-on into a Lincoln Navigator. The Navigator burst into flames, trapping the driver, Susan Bowman, behind the wheel of her burning SUV. I saw what appeared to be an explosion in front of me. And we could see it from about a good mile away. There was, I mean, it looked like a bomb had went off somewhere. I mean, there was debris everywhere. You know, I could just see the smoke and everything going crazy. And you just hear him screaming when I got out of the car and I wasn't close to it. It was just horrible seeing a car burn and having somebody in it burn, burning up. Like I said, I was losing my field of vision because of the smoke was uh, so bad. And I could just imagine what was, you know, going on in, inside the, the vehicles. I mean, just burned beyond any sort of recognition. I've been in combat, I've been, you know, and I've seen a lot of things. But I've never seen somebody burn so bad and survive. I, there was no way this woman was gonna survive. As far as I knew, that was the end of the story. I said, you're in God's hands now. Surprise! Here I am, live and kicking. <laughs> and it also, it's handy for carrying my Kroger sacks that those It is a For sharing your story, that was actually inspiring. It's really inspiring. It's no problem. No problem. I lost my legs. I lost the life I knew. Partway through my recovery, my husband of nearly 20 years left me and took the family I loved away from me. I didn't know what I had left to live for. At one point, I even tried to take my own life. It wasn't easy getting where I am today, but I thank God every day that I did. When you were younger, you never thought anything could touch you. When you were younger, you never thought anything so she's an inspiration to a lot of people, a lot of folks. She just takes a challenge and goes on with it. We all could learn from her. You know, she's she's fought that war and she's won.